So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we're gonna cover the top 10 mirrorless cameras for beginners. So coming in at number 10, the Fujifilm X-T30. The X-T30 is a compact and lightweight retro camera offering similar performance to the Fujifilm X-T3, but in a smaller and lighter body. It's a photographer's camera. It comes with a 26.1 megapixel CMOS sensor, a tilting touchscreen LCD, face detection, eye detection, 4K recording, built-in Wi-Fi, and NFC. It uses a phase detection AF system that covers the entire frame. This amount of coverage results in both fast and accurate AF performance, even at negative 3 EV. For video, it shoots 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p up to 120 frames per second. Battery life is also sufficient. It delivers approximately 380 stills in 45 minutes of 4K video. It features a newly updated electronic viewfinder that is brighter and sharper than previous models. Not only that, it also has 16 film simulation options, perfect for those wanting to replicate film in a digital era. This film simulation option applies to both stills and video as well. The capacitive touchscreen sports both Touch AF as well as Touch Shot, both of which combine to make selecting autofocusing points a breeze and more intuitive than ever before. Coming in at number nine, the Fujifilm X-H1. The Fujifilm X-H1 is a retro designed high performing camera that makes the top of the line offering in Fuji's lineup. This camera is aimed primarily at serious photographers who aspire to become professionals. It's a hybrid camera that comes with a 24.3 X-Trans CMOS sensor, in-camera stabilization, 4K video, a touchscreen, weather sealing, and feather touch shutter. It delivers a superior dynamic range, while for video, it shoots 4K at 24 frames per second and 1080p up to 120 frames per second. The touchscreen LCD also supports touch AF. Users can also use the dedicated AF joystick to change autofocusing points as well. Subject tracking performance is excellent, especially in single point mode, and it has industry leading viewfinder with performance comparable to that of the highest end digital SLRs. Aesthetically, it's similar to Fujifilm's higher end GFX line, However, it has a large and deep grip and a professional looking body that's perfect for existing digital SLR users or Fujifilm users looking to upgrade. It delivers a continuous burst rate of 45 frames per second with its electronic shutter and battery life is sufficient at 320 shots per charge. However, thankfully USB charging is also supported and available for use. Coming in at number eight, the Fujifilm X-T3. The Fujifilm X-T3 provides the highest image quality, color rep production, and the fastest processor in the history of Fujifilm's X-Series to date. It features a 26.1 megapixel CMOS4 sensor, dual SD cards, a dedicated AF joystick, weather sealing, 4K video, a microphone jack, a headphone jack, 10-bit internal color, 16 film simulation options, and a swivel touchscreen LCD display. To say it's feature packed is quite an understatement. It has 425 AF points that cover the entirety of its sensor. This amount of coverage coupled with the inclusion of both face and eye detect AF means that this camera can easily maintain accurate subject tracking around the entire frame. In all, Autofocusing performance significantly improves over the predecessor, especially in low light. Its autofocusing system is also customizable and can be tailored to your specific style with ease. The high quality OLED electronic viewfinder delivers lifelike blackout free continuous shooting at 11 frames per second with 100 frames per second refresh rate. While the 3.2 touchscreen LCD makes complex focusing and navigating the menus a breeze with its responsiveness. Not only that, but it also has 100% viewfinder coverage. And on the video side, it delivers exceptionally sharp 4K videos at 60 frames per second. 
This camera is the ideal choice for the versatile outdoor shooter with its sturdy magnesium alloy build, deep, comfortable grip, and 1200 shot battery life. Coming in at number seven, the Panasonic GH5. The Panasonic GH5 is a powerful hybrid camera aimed at serious multimedia shooters. This is a seriously competitive camera that's competitive to the top pro cameras out there. It has a 20.3 megapixel MOS sensor without a low pass filter, 4K video, 10 bit recording, dual SD cards, weather sealing, five axis stabilization, a swivel touch LCD display, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Its OLED live viewfinder features an insane resolution of 3.6 million dots, high in comparison to the remaining cameras on this list. Difficult viewing on this camera is undoubtedly a thing of the past. The swiveling touchscreen LCD works excellent and the ideal combination for versatility. It delivers a continuous burst rate of 30 frames per second, the sports photographer's dream. Users can even cheat and use any of the 4K or 6K photo modes to shoot a short clip at either 30 or 60 frames per second respectively to pull higher resolution images. This is perfect when shooting challenging sports or action. On the video front, the 4K video quality provides an industry leading result bar none. It shoots 4K at 60 frames per second, a rarity amongst the competition here. When this high quality video pairs with its native five axis stabilization, users can produce cinema quality standard footage handheld all without the need for additional gear. Not only that, but there's also unlimited 4K recording, which is just brilliant. And this camera is king at handheld productions. Coming at number six, the Sony Alpha A6500. The Sony A6500 is Sony's latest APS-C flagship. It has a 24.2 megapixel sensor, five axis stabilization, a touchscreen LCD, 4K video, microphone input, built-in flash, USB charging, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC. Don't be fooled by its compact size. Both image quality and dynamic range are excellent. Sony's renowned for superior low light performance and this camera follows suit. Neither quality nor focusing performance suffers in low light, making it the ideal choice for the run and gun shooter in those situations. It features a 425 phase detect AF system with continuous eye tracking. Overall focusing is excellent in both photos and videos with a level of customization that makes it industry leading in those regards. It's three inch touchscreen LCD now supports touch gesturing that simplify the complexities of focusing across a variety of situations. It supplies a redesigned body for more comfortable prolonged use and is best among the A6000 lineup to date. The image stabilization, though not as good as the Panasonic GH5, provides upwards of five stops of stabilization, which allows users to shoot handheld at shutter speeds of a half a second. It delivers a continuous burst rate of 11 frames per second that provide over 100 raw images in a row without a hitch, among the best in class performance because of that. This is a palm sized camera that delivers. Coming in at number five, the Panasonic G9. The Panasonic G9 is their flagship stills camera, which inherits the sensor from the GH5 with tweaks to deliver the photographer's dream camera. It has a 20.3 megapixel live MOS micro four thirds sensor without an optical low pass filter. It has image stabilization, weather sealing, dual SD cards, AF joystick, a high res shot mode, both 6K and 4K photo, 4K recording, slow motion HD, a swivel touchscreen LCD, microphone, headphone inputs, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. To say this is a feature packed camera is quite the understatement. The high res shot mode allows the camera to deliver a whopping 80 megapixel image, which occurs by blending eight individual photographs into a single image. This level of resolution rivals that of top medium format cameras and makes it the perfect match for large format printing. The 6K and 4K photo modes allow users to pull either 18 or eight megapixel stills from the recorded 30 or 60 frames per second videos respectively. 
The image stabilization here is the best Panasonic has to offer and among the best in class. It combines with lens stabilization, which creates Panasonic's dual IS, which delivers an impressive six and a half stops of stabilization. Image quality is also superb, considering how small its sensor is. On the video front, it shoots 4K in super slow motion 1080p. Its 1080p hits an impressive maximum of 180 frames per second. Focusing performance is fast and supremely accurate as well. It has 225 contrast detect AF points, which deliver sharp images across an impressive 20 frames per second continuous burst rate with face tracking. All of these features combine with professional ergonomics and controls to make a new breed of camera for Panasonic. Coming in at number four, the Sony A7 Mark II. The Sony A7 II was a popular release in Sony's full frame lineup of cameras. It delivers with a 24.3 megapixel CMOS full frame sensor with an optical low pass filter. It's physically larger than the predecessor now featuring a deeper grip, more custom buttons and a full magnesium alloy build. It has a customizable function menu, full HD recording, tilting LCD, image stabilization, headphone and microphone jacks, weather sealing, Wi-Fi, and NFC. The focusing performance here is fast, namely due to the hybrid AF system with 117 phase and 25 contrast detect points, which improves focusing performance over the predecessor by 30%. Autofocusing is excellent across all lighting conditions with the addition of face detect autofocusing as well. It delivers a continuous burst rate of five frames per second with AFC tracking. The additional five axis stabilization makes it a breeze to take sharp handheld shots in tricky lighting and provides four and a half stops of stabilization. This was Sony's first full frame camera to offer stabilization. While the E-mount lens adapter it uses has outstanding support from third party manufacturers and delivers the largest flexibility in lens selection. In all, this is Sony's best all-rounded and most versatile full frame performer. Coming in at number three, the Sony A7R. The Sony A7R is a 36.4 megapixel full frame beast without an optical low pass filter. It picks up where the predecessor, the A7, left off. It delivers a full frame sensor in a modern and lightweight mirrorless body overall with a 1.2 million dot three inch tilting LCD, weather sealing, microphone jack, headphone jack, HD video, Wi-Fi, and NFC. The resolution that's provided in this camera is hard pressed to find at this price without looking at equivalent medium format cameras, which have only a fraction of its capabilities. This is the ideal choice for landscapes and portrait photographers needing the utmost resolution in detail. Its powerful resolving ability makes it the premium option for cropping in images in post-production. It delivers images with outstanding shallow depth of field as well, and edge-to-edge -edge detail and colors one could only dream of. This is the camera that will deliver the largest prints in this bunch. As the 2.3 million dots OLED electronic viewfinder that produces no lag whatsoever during viewing, Construction is rugged with a full frame magnesium alloy body. This is a camera aimed at high end users who shoot landscapes, commercial work and other high end productions. Coming in at number two, the Panasonic GX9. The Panasonic GX9 is the latest release in the GX lineup of cameras. This is the utmost premium street and lifestyle photographer's camera. It has a 20.3 megapixel sensor without an optical low pass filter and delivers 4K video, slow motion HD video, 4K photo, a tilting viewfinder, a touch LCD, USB charging, a built-in flash, post focus, image stabilization, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, all delivered in a small and compact rangefinder style body. Images are sharp with ample contrast and flattering colors, especially in skin tones. It has a built-in grain simulation mode, which couples with their new black and white filter to deliver images akin to film. Video quality is also excellent. Both 4K and 1080p footage looks fantastic straight out of camera. Users can take advantage of 4K photo 
by recording a 4K clip, then extracting eight megapixel stills from each clip after the fact as well. Focusing performance is quick and accurate even in incredibly low light situations at minus four EV due to an improved 49 point contrast based autofocusing system. The tilting viewfinder is a niche selling point for this camera, making it the ideal choice for convenient and discreet shooting. In all, it is a lightweight feature pack camera perfect for the traveling photographer. Coming in at number one, the Olympus EM-1 Mark II. The Olympus EM-1 Mark II is a mid-range flagship in the Olympus lineup. It delivers excellent imaging quality with a 20.4 megapixel micro four thirds sensor without an optical low pass filter. A small sensor, sure. However, the performance delivered here easily rivals that of its larger full frame brothers. Image quality is excellent, especially when captured in the high res mode. The result of which rivals top full frame 50 megapixel cameras it hits a continuous burst rate via an electronic shutter of 60 frames per second that's without autofocus or 18 frames per second with autofocus. Very impressive. It has a three inch swivel touchscreen LCD, dual SD cards, image stabilization, 4K video, slow motion HD video, pro capture, and an intuitively designed menu. The touchscreen functions as an AF selector as well, even when composing with the viewfinder to your eye. That viewfinder delivers a 2.36 million dot resolution, by the way, with an impressive refresh rate of 120 frames per second and overall is a joy to use. AF performance is excellent, the result of a hybrid 121 point AF system and the stabilization provided is among best in class, delivering excellent handheld footage with over five stops of stabilization. Say goodbye to gimbals with this camera. Not to mention the pro capture mode shoots an impressive 60 frames per second burst of images, which completely removes any challenge when capturing critical moments. In all, this is a superiorly customizable, fully featured compact camera that offers a comfortable, well-versed button layout to match and is undoubtedly hard to beat. All right, so there we are. There's our list for the top 10 mirrorless cameras in 2019 when it comes to beginners. And those of us that are just starting out, uh, typically the price range for any of these cameras are gonna be between somewhere between 500 to 750 and then upwards of 12 to $1,300, 1500 being the absolute maximum. Um, as beginners, you don't wanna get caught up in, in getting gear that's way over the, the, the performance and the, uh, I guess the feature set that you ultimately need. It depends what you're shooting, but at the same time, when you're starting out and just learning the fundamentals, you don't need a camera that has a crazy amount of feature sets and a crazy amount of um, niche functionality that you may not even ultimately use. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to be purchasing those kind of items just because you can get more for far less and then reinvest that money into additional gear, accessories, um, to going and traveling and, and things of that nature that are just more efficient um, and that are more practical for where you're starting out as. Um, I made that mistake to a certain extent buying gear that was a little bit too expensive. So definitely uh, I would encourage you guys not to fall victim to that and just really look at what you're ultimately gonna try to shoot. Uh, get something that works in that price point and then stay with that and then grow out through that. So I hope this video was beneficial. I hope it added some value. I know it's a little bit longer, but um, you know, let us down, know in the comments down below, uh, you know, what, what cameras would you add to your top 10 list? Is there something that we missed? Uh, do you think this was a good list? Um, and if you like this video, by all means, like this video, hit, hit that like button down below as well. I'm Devon Lennox, your host for Photography PX. We'll catch you in the next video. And until then, peace out, my friends.